Hey, this is Wes with Barron Heating and BarronGreenTeam.com. This company to talk to you about an energy remodel we did uh, here. Um, just want to interview with the homeowner, tell you about why we did what we did. Uh, this house had a really crappy old system in it that um, was highly related to a lot of other factors as far as unevenness in the house. And I'll take you through all the things we did here. Um, but basically, we ended up with the furnace in the attic. Um, this is the uh, installation here back beyond this so there's two parts of the house one was newer where you see there's a roof line right there one was newer from this way forward to me and then back there was old so what we did was on that old part it didn't have any insulation etc so we air sealed it and insulated it and then we're using the attic to get out of the crawl space it was really low full of animal carcasses everything so we went and we uh pulled all the in all the everything out of the crawl space redid the insulation air sealed it sealed it off rodent um, you know control exclusion and then came up and just installed everything in the attic and i'll show you where the furnace was and all that other type of stuff and some of the story but let's go down and meet tristan he's going to tell us a little bit about his experience here if i can get down this ladder without killing myself All right, so this is Tristan. Tristan, thank you. Much. Yeah. Hey, if you could tell us a little bit about your experience uh, working with us and kind of the outcome, what explain what there was before. So before, what we had was an extremely loud forced air heater out in the living room that basically anytime it turned on, you had dramatic increase in the noise in the entire surrounding area, just out in the front, and it was only blowing hot air really up into the front of the house, so the rest of the house was cold, always cold. We were using space heaters in the back, even though we had a heater in the front. So Baron came in, Wes came in and did an excellent assessment, found stuff that we didn't even know was wrong with the house, um, set up a plan to actually get all that taken care of. We got it approved, got it going. Um, they started work just a couple weeks after doing the assessment and then you know followed a pretty good timeline, stayed pretty firm with their timeline and then only made changes when you know, basically things needed to get tweaked in order to have the best outcome for the house. So it was very nice to work with professionals who are more focused on getting the job done right rather than getting it done fast. Um, and so, you know, it was really nice to see the, the follow up here. You know, it's nice. I have Wes here right now doing follow up, checking to make sure that they did everything well. And, <laughs> and we can't, you know, we really can't touted it enough because the house is warm it, the, the warmth is all the way through the house and, and it's on right now it's, it's heating right now and I'm talking and you can't hear anything it was so loud it before it was so loud so yeah. loud before you literally would have to like shout if you're in the living room yeah. before um, so it's been you know very positive experience for us if I had to recommend them I definitely recommend Baron one of the things that we talked about was your allergies and oh, how yeah. the negative pressure yeah. from the duct leakage was affecting oh definitely we had way way more particulate in in the space and you could just tell by when Wes came in and did the initial evaluation he pulled out a filter that I had replaced just about a month before and it was filthy completely filthy look at it, it hadn't it was replaced packed. in years yeah. yeah it was just packed with with allergens and so since the new system has been put in I actually have had uh, you know a reduction in my use of an inhaled steroid medication um, for just dealing with you know dust so yeah so we know for a fact that there's less dust in here because my symptoms have improved. So. Well, not only did the, the duct work was leaking, causing negative pressure, but we had a ton of leakage coming up through the crawl space. All the can lights leaked like crazy. It yeah. was like a waterfall. We had, um, I mean, it was just on and on and on. Sucked, <laughs> it sucked, basically. It sucked. Yeah, yeah. You, just, you put a heat in and it just yeah. very quickly escaped. And yeah. so you guys did a wonderful job of making that not happen. Thank you. I'm going to go show them around kind of some of those areas you talked about. Yes, sir. So coming out into the living room, the original system was in this closet. So here's where the return was. So when we talk about noise, not only was the filter in this return, um, which wasn't meant for a, a filter, so when it got real loaded, it would be like, you know, start to start to do that wobble. And some of you who are watching this video probably have heard that. But this closet was where the furnace was, so it was old. So it would kick on. It was super loud out here. And we originally thought of, and this is where you have to be careful when you have contractors coming out because they'll use words like, well, you need a modulating furnace. We talked about that, but that really wasn't the solution, being that no matter what we did, that looks right down 
on the furnace in the closet. So what you never we never be bit the bullet and put the furnace up in the attic. Um, we're using uh, these awesome grills uh, coming from the ceiling. They're multi distribution. They um, have no boot. So if you're familiar with uh, duct work, when you look down at a duct, there's a metal thing down in there that usually leaks like a sieve. These don't have that. So that whole part of the installation and, and energy loss is is you know eradicated. Um, and just being able to put the heat where we want it to go by balancing. All these have uh, balancing dampers um, in them, built in them. So if we have a spot that we need to dial it back, we can. Which um, we have. We have. Even in the, in the back, we've done exactly yeah. that. So in the back, we, we're a laundry room. We're not. People are not. We have it come, you know, almost completely shut off. And you still, it's still so much warmer in the back of the house. Despite the fact that that one particular vent is closed off. Yeah. You know, so it yeah. just, the general the heat just being consistent throughout the home that is the biggest noticeable difference in you know the with with the compounding insulation correction and yeah the new well this system. was um like i was explaining in the attic there was there's a a line and i think it's right here in the kitchen where there is new house this way that had insulation and then everything this way forward was all an old the old old house there's holes everywhere in the attic, chimney chases, uh, you know, big giant hole right here as far as the chimney chase that was sucking, convecting hot air up out of the house through the wall. And uh, so we air sealed that and then we were able to put in um, the insulation on top uh, to coat. So, but anyways, um, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of uh, feedback. Oh, there's one more thing, sorry. We did a water heater. So part of our local stuff is that you get 950 bucks back for switching from electric to gas water heater, which is pretty sweet. So there was an electric water heater in here. The thing that Tristan said was that it's like night and day, you know, lukewarm versus, was it lava? Lava. <laughs> yeah. So now we have that at appropriate setting, yeah. in between low and high. Yeah. And, you know, you, you really just couldn't ask for... The recovery is great. Yeah, it's you know. so fast. Like you don't ever, you're never worried you're gonna run out of hot water. One of the things, um, you know, that you're gonna see in here, this duct might be a little bit of a mystery, but that's basically whenever we're switching, we need to provide combustion air for that appliance in this space so that we're not putting the house under a negative pressure when the water heater comes on. Everything about controlling air quality and efficiency is about controlling negative pressure, combustion zone. Um, uh, safety, all those things are really, really important. So uh, make sure that when you're youth, selecting a contractor, you think about those things and you think about the whole scope. This would have been really easy for someone to come in, right, and just say, well, your furnace sucks, so let's put a new one in the closet, yeah. and I promise it'll be quieter. Yeah. Right? And then, oh my gosh. Right. That would have been a whole new thing, like as soon as I got underneath there. <laughs> it yeah. would have been, well, and you, so you guys came in and you actually did an objective assessment and came up with, again, the best plan for the house rather than, you know, the best plan for, you know, maybe Baron Heating or, or some other independent contractor, you know, so you guys, it really was very nice to see that that was the primary focus, that the focus wasn't getting it done fast, that it was getting it done right. So. Awesome. Thank you, sir.